Hey guys, so we're back for part two. And I'm just talking about the one. Um, and it leads to many other like side topics and stuff. So I may get a little off topic. <laughs> but um, one of the other things um, that was uh, I found that I used to do. So when you're in this spiral of looking for the one and you know chasing the best baby and you just want it to be so realistic it just got to be perfect um and i think that's what we think in our mind that the one is going to be the one that's the most perfect right so it's got to be the most realistic the most beautiful hair the most beautiful painting so that's what our mind thinks and that's why i think it kind of throws us off when you do connect with one that's not you know all, all those things or maybe they are but just like i said like with zora just not my typical uh style let me see i'm gonna try to get the camera hang on try to get the camera where you can actually see her Oh, body because I'm trying to I'm gonna try to get her changed she looks really cute in this pajama set but to be honest I squished I squished her in one that was way smaller then let's see I don't know if that helps or not oh it helps a little bit all right so yeah um but I know like some people some people like don't even like me for this reason because at one point only dolls I would buy would be by a particular artist or you know I was just so into my silicone at one point that you know reborns were like psh, you know kind of like uh I don't know like I don't want to sound bougie or petty or ridiculous but reborns was like you know it's like oh okay it's just a reborn type thing if that makes sense but look at these cords and i'm like get out the way that's my light but um it's not that i like i truly felt that way but that's kind of how i felt like i treated it girl keep your little hat on people not gonna see you look gonna see your little edges or like thereof but I would spend all this money on these dolls <gasps> she just rolled right out um, I would spend all this money on these dolls and uh, and then they would still have something that I don't particularly love or um, rather it was part of the sculpting part or the painting or even just the way that the, the, the doll was rooted or something it could be it would be anything and I'm like how do you spend all this money and still not get the one um there will be times where and I'm just being honest with you guys and being transparent there's been t there will be times that I would do a box opening and I would like the baby I would be in awe of, of course, the painting or the, the, the sculpt, one or the other or both. But instantly, in my head, I knew it wasn't the one. But because when you spend so much money, and I've said this before, you better well damn like it because you spent this money and you better not dare say yeah this i don't really like it because do you know how that freaks out the audience do you know how that kills your sale do you know how it is if i was to had gotten even like joey as pretty as he is and i'm sure somebody's gonna say yeah i would have bought him anyway but if i would have opened up his box and would have been like oh my god i just this is not it for me or I would have like not did a box opening or when I show him I would just be like 
girl. Yeah, he all right, you know, or whatever. Do you know how people would have taken that? Do you know that when I got ready to sell him, his price would drop by at least half just because I said that? Now, this is the stuff where it gets a little tricky being a YouTuber and when you're selling your babies. This is the point where if it's a matter of I don't like it because it's not what I wanted it to be or I don't like it because it's not good. Those are different. I don't like when people come on and they lie and say, oh, this doll is painted like so-and-so or this baby squish feels like so-and-so or this is this because of so-and-so just because they know that they're going to want to sell it in a couple weeks. And they don't want, they want to boost everybody up so that they can sell it. I don't like that part because then now you're passing your misleading lies or deception off on another collector. And that's not fair. But if it's just like one that, you know, let's say you thought the doll was darker or, um, or whatever. Or you thought it was a little bit more brown than it is. Or, you know, or a little bit more red or yellow or whatever it was that you had in your little mind that it was I got two different shirts so I got this shirt and this shirt and I had Mimi and Lulu on it at one point but I'm gonna try this one on her it looks really big it's a 24 month but this one is a snap and the other one is not a snap I'm going to try it on her, but it looks so big. I don't know if she can fit it. So let's see. But yeah, um, I rarely do any of that, to be honest, though. Um, I just normally would just like not be as active with the baby or, you know, I would just eventually just say, hey, I'm, I'm selling this baby because this is this. You know, but I think that there has been times that I've actually, <sighs> I think people that follow me for a long time know when I have a baby that I'm not totally in love with. Um, there was one particular baby, and if you look at my, my, my videos, you will always hear me say, somewhere in there it's like i've had babies that's been painted better but i really like her or i've she's not you know the softest baby i've had but she's soft or you know it's like um when i would say stuff like that it was because i didn't want to trash the doll or make the artist feel any type of way but I wasn't necessarily in love with the sculpt or the painting style as I normally would have been. But that was the best and the nicest way I could put it. Um, but I knew that that wasn't going to be the one. Um, I didn't... I don't know. I can't remember. I would be lying if I, but I don't think I said. So these socks, I think I'll go with the blue. Mm. Just because the blue to me stands out and I don't want to put her on white socks right now. But I don't think that I said, oh, this baby is definitely not going nowhere. Not that I have not did it because, okay, this is what happened. You get the baby. So boom. You don't necessarily really like it as much as you normally do. You dress the baby up. You start spending time with the baby, holding the baby, cuddling the baby. The baby feels good in your arms. You start to connect with that baby. Um, and you really do start to build some type of bond to it where you actually like it, right? But those same little things and nuances that bothered you that made you know when you first opened it up that it wasn't the one 
still is there. And over time, as you get over the excitement of the new and the shock of the sticker price of what you pay for something that you don't absolutely love, you, you decide you're going to sell it. Um, some people actually buy stuff uh, when they're YouTubers for the box openings or for the views and the followers and stuff like that. I never really honestly did that part. Um, and simply because I just don't care enough to... It's not that I don't love you guys, but um, it's just that I don't care enough to spend my money on what somebody else likes. Um, you know, I'm just being honest. Oh, she gets so, so cute. I don't even want to cover her little legs up. But, um, yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm not, and I, to be honest with you, I'm not even judging those that do do it. <laughs> that do do um buy for the box openings and the views and um you know to fit in a certain club or group of with a group of people because that's their choice and they have the right to to do whatever it is that they want to do and however they want to build their following that's okay you know that's their thing. And I, I don't... Who am I to say that it's not right? Look at her. Say, don't I should just keep my little... <laughs> her little onesie on. Um, so, but yeah, I don't... But I... I, I think that is one of the the major things I think too that we when we're we're not thinking when we're thinking the one we're thinking it's going to be perfection that's the key thing I think that's the silver lining and I think that for me because I I was somewhat of a doll snob not really really but I did have my mindset I was very close-minded more than I thought on only buying certain particular sculptors dolls and stuff um till i didn't open myself up to the possibilities of falling for any other sculpt i it's almost like i thought it wasn't possible if it wasn't something that you know my favorite sculptors had sculpted um and again although this baby is still a part of one of my favorite sculptors. Um, it's not completely done by them because I use the face. And I think the face is really what sends me over. But I do love the way that the baby came together with the mix. But um, it's not completely a Bonnie Brown baby. Um, but it is, you know, and it's also a sculptor that I typically didn't even rate um you know I had friends that like Cassie Bray's dolls and you know they they love her her dolls and stuff and I just look at them like why like I had all these different reasons behind why I didn't particularly care for them I always love the faces almost always the faces come out and I just be like oh my gosh it was something about the fate her faces but I simply can't buy a doll just off of the face um, because I like my dolls to be um, proportionate for the most part and I like for them to uh, flow together nicely that's you know that's my thing oh now you're looking like you all swole up <laughs> um, not my favorite outfit on her I don't like the pants. Let me look at you. Yeah, I don't like I don't like this on her. I'm gonna take the pants off. I don't I don't like the pants on her. It really it really don't work for her. Um but yeah, so I oh gosh. I pulled your sock off. Where is it?
but yeah so I think the the big shock was that this was actually a sculpt um that I didn't um particularly love and it's not all about Zora it's just me in general I have other babies in my collection that I didn't think I would like as much and I really feel for them um like I said the Rosalie sculpt is one that I was like mm-mm but when I seen it in person, I really, really love the face. And that's another thing. A lot of the dolls that we see sometimes, when you see them on camera, sometimes we don't like them because you're not seeing what they actually look like in person. Because the cameras can make them look bigger. They can make them look smaller. They can, like, their facial features just look kind of, like, there's been times where I was like, that doll looks just like so-and-so skull. And then you get it in person, and it's like, no, it's it's definitely not. Um, I'll tell you, um, Worn by Laura Tudor Ross, the first time I saw that kit in person in the box, when I pulled it out of the box, I was just like, wow. The face, the head is so narrow, and it's it's so sm the head is so small, like it's a uh, um it wasn't what I was expected, but I fell in love with that sculpt so much. Like, oh my gosh, I was just like, I just love that one. Um, but in when I first seen it, I was like, oh, it just looked like the rest of, you know, some of her other babies. I thought it looked like, uh, what kid is that? I don't know, but it to me it, it favored another one of her kids, and I was just like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm gonna pass on that one. Or whatever but then um someone sent it to me as a gift and i was just like oh my gosh and i still have that kit to paint i will have another one to paint for my personal collection but i you know there has been kits that i've seen that in person i'm just like oh my god i don't like this or oh my god i like this you know um yeah so that's that's a whole nother subject. Anyway, this video is too long. I'll wait, I'll be back.